I'm Morgan Klaus Schweierman. I'm an information science PhD student. Facial recognition software specifically is using a method called computer vision that takes in a bunch of images of people and then matches an individual person to that database of images. We knew that people of minoritized gender identities, so people who are trans, people who are non-binary, were very concerned about this technology, but we didn't actually have any empirical evidence about the misclassification rates for that group of people. We made our own data set of images from Instagram, so we scraped them using different gender hashtags people use to describe themselves. For example, trans man, trans woman, agender, things like that. And then we ran those images through four different uh, commercially available facial analysis software. Bottom line, what we found is that the computer vision systems that run all of our facial detection and our facial analysis do not handle the level of gender diversity that we live with every day. Different uh, systems basically classified me differently. So I had on one hand, like IBM would classify me as female and maybe Clarify would classify me as male. If you're a cisgendered man or cisgendered woman, you're doing pretty okay in these systems. If you are a trans woman, not as well. And if you're a trans man, then we're looking at, for example, on Amazon's um, system, it's called recognition, uh, you're looking at about 61% accuracy. But if we step beyond uh, people who uh, have binary gender identities to people who identify as non-binary, as agender, 100% of the time, you're going to be classified incorrectly. As it gets used more and more for security, some people might be stopped because they just don't match what's in the database. We're at the beginning of an era where we are training our systems. We are creating an infrastructure that will assist, enable, and hopefully enhance our daily lives. But that only works if those systems are taught who we are and are taught to think about the diversity and the complexity of who we are.